Welcome back to the Tigers Den Podcast, guys. Before we get started, you know what we got to do. Smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're brand new, and don't forget to hit those links down in my description. Follow your boy on Twitter, IG, and Facebook at Big C Got Game. So our Tigers move to 10-0 and on the season, dominating USC 67-17 to was your final. It was a slow start for GSU in the first quarter, giving up 14 points to USC, but then it was all grambling after that. 24 in the second, 14 in the third, and 22 in the fourth. Chris King finished the game dang near perfect. 18 of 23 for 353 and three touchdowns. Great game by Chris. Just picked apart the USC uh, secondary and just made it look real easy. In the backfield, slow start for Pierre Jackson. Finished with 18 carries for 118 yards, two touchdowns, including a 20-yard scamper. Uh, shout out to Kevin Easley. Carried the ball 11 times for 96 yards and a touchdown. Had a nice 30-yard counter run. And Cody Walker, been seeing a lot of playing time because of the blowouts. He had five carries for 17 yards and a score. Out wide, Jordan Paxson is putting together a great senior campaign. Six grabs today for 112 yards and two scores. Antonio Walker had five catches for 59 yards. Easley had three catches in the game. Tim Clark had two. Shout out to Mike Harper. He got in the game, caught a touchdown pass. Will Carter had two grabs, and Bobby Smith had one. On defense, I was impressed with the G-men this week. Jason West led the way with nine tackles and a sack. Shout out to Mike Collins. He had seven tackles. And Clemens, even though he got bowled over in a couple of clips and a couple of uh, plays, he finished with seven tackles on the day. But big shout out to the defensive line. In all, Grambling State finished with 12 sacks, uh, led by Torian Ray's four. Caleb Causey had three. Shout out to Travis Haley. He had a sack. Uh, Nick Sellers also had a sack. Shane Henry had a sack. And so did Jones. Uh, and then in the secondary, Antoine Nugent took a pick six back to the house. And shout out to Brent Stovall, who went up to get his interception in the end zone, saving a touchdown. And, of course, it wouldn't be a Grandpa State video if we did not shout out the roadrunner. Eric Rodgers did it again. He took a punt return back to the house, 54 yards. This kid is special, guys. So we dig deeper into the stats, and Grandpa State pretty much dominated. Uh, we were outthrown by USC just because, you know, they were trying to throw to get back into the game. But we definitely outrushed them, 226 yards to negative two. GSU finished 8 of 9 on third down, holding USC to 6 of 13. We were perfect inside the red zone while USC was two of four. We forced two turnovers in the game, almost put up 800 yards of total offense. Taking a look at the BCS standings for this week, and it looks like Grambling State is still your number one team. They got Rutgers coming into town this week. Miami of Ohio moves up to two. Uh, they beat Bowling Green last week and played Western Michigan. Louisiana Lafayette is up a spot to three. Oklahoma's up a spot to four. Wisconsin's up a spot to five. Texas up a spot to six. Mississippi State up a spot to seven. Florida State jumps two spots to eight. Nebraska sitting pretty at nine. South Carolina rounds out your top ten. And take a look at this. Utah falls 14 spots to 16 after losing to Oregon State 35 to 23. Time to hit the recruiting trail. No signings this week, but we do have two prospects who will be on campus. We have the number one corner in the country, Tony Hardy. He'll be in town. So will Mike Weiss. Taking a look at Tony Hardy, he's a six foot, 183, five star corner from East Brunswick, New Jersey. And he's got some great traits, guys. He's got amazing speed and great man and zone coverage ability. He can get up and press, and he has great play recognition. He could see some playing time his freshman year. And then there's Juco outside linebacker Mike Weiss. He's 6'1, 222 from Ormond Beach, Florida. He's the number 87th ranked outside linebacker, and he's got some solid traits too. Speed isn't that great, but it's doable. His agility needs some work, but he can tackle. 86 tackle, 80 hit power, great play rec. Uh, he can get off of blocks. He'd be a great depth linebacker for us. So we drop a spot on the top classes for season seven, but I think by the end of it all, We'll go back up to the number one position. Yo, make sure you guys stay up to date with everything that's going on with Grambling State and the recruiting class by following your boy on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Big C Got Game. Links down in the description. So we jump into week 12 as the Rutgers Scarlet Knights come into town. Now, at the beginning of the season when we made the schedule, Rutgers was actually ranked in the top 10. And I don't know what happened. They are 1-8 and eight on the season, coming in on a three-game losing streak. Their only win is over South Florida. 
Rutgers is led by redshirt junior quarterback C.J. Foster. He's 6'4", 204, a pocket passer. He's thrown for 1,573 yards, 14 touchdowns, and eight interceptions. And he's not a bad QB. Got no speed. He's got he's very accurate, a decently strong arm. It's gonna be important for our defensive line to bring that pressure again this week. In the backfield is another red shirt junior. This is Lucas Gray. He leads the team in rushing with 163 carries for 993 yards and four touchdowns. His backup is David Irby. He's a red shirt sophomore. He's the speed back, 342 yards and three scores. Out wide, they have a stud wide receiver, James Broussard. He's 6'1, 196. Caught 34 balls for 624 yards and three touchdowns. And a tight end that's a stud as well. He's 6'3, 239. This is Brad Baker, 24 catches for 349 yards and four scores. On the other side of Broussard is Maurice Mitchell, 23 catches for 264 and a score. And then you have Mark Anderson, 6'1", 185, 10 grabs for 138 and two touchdowns. On defense, left outside linebacker Jeff Washington leads the team and tackles with 71. Then you have Demetrius Bowser. He's a 6'2", 230-pound junior. He's got 55 tackles on the season. They got a stud at defensive tackle. Dylan Miller leads the team with three sacks, followed by David Griffith. He's got two and a half. And Gabe Rucker, he's the other defensive tackle. He has two sacks on the season. And in the secondary, Shannon Long leads the team in interceptions with three, followed by Ryan Sapp with two. Then you have Derek Hill and Jason Stewart both with one. So we dig deeper into the Rutgers roster. Uh, they have a solid left tackle in Noah Jefferson. At guard, Kyle Baker is solid as a 79 overall. At center, the captain, Quentin Arrington, he's the best lineman. He's a 90 overall. At right guard, Brent McCannon, he's a 78 overall and a freshman. Then at right tackle is Brad McCarthy. He's an 81 overall as a senior. So not bad on the offensive line. On defense, David Griffith is second on the team with sacks. Then you have Sean Taylor. He's an 82 overall. Then your two defensive tackles, Gabe Rucker and Dylan Miller. At linebacker, there's Jeff Washington. He leads the team with tackles. At middle linebacker, you have Myron Merriman and John Jenkins, both below average. Then at right outside linebacker is Demetrius Bowser. In the secondary at corner, Jesse Kraft is usually the shutdown corner, but he is hurt this week. So look for Ryan Sapp to step into that role. Then you have Shannon Long, who leads the team in interceptions, and Caleb Scott is third on this list. Honestly, it looks like our wide receiver should have a field day against this Rutgers secondary. At free safety is Derrick Hill. He's a thumper, man. He can get after the ball, and he's fast, 93 speed. Uh, he's an 85 overall. And then you have Jason Stewart. He's got 93 speed and is an 87. They have a freshman kicker that's no good and a junior punter that's no good. With two games left on the schedule, Grambling State looks to finish strong as Rutgers comes to town. And, of course, Herbie is rolling with the Tigers. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're brand new. Don't forget to ring that bell. Join the Noti Squad. And hit those links down in my description. Follow your boy on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Big C Got Game. And we'll holler at you guys from the hole as the Rutgers Scarlet Knights come into town. Have a great day, guys. Two fingers in the air. Peace.